We've heard it before that eating a Mediterranean diet is good for us. Well, now there's research that appears to confirm it. In a randomized study in Spain of high-risk people who ate a Mediterranean diet supplemented with extra virgin olive oil or mixed nuts, there was a reduction in the rate of major cardiovascular events by as much as 30 percent compared with a control group who ate a low-fat diet. With me to help explain what this means for all of us is Dr. Ali Zentner, our medical specialist. Dr. Zentner, we've heard this kind of thing before, but how is this study different from what we know from the past? I, I think it's different in two different ways. So first of all, past data was always population-based. They would look at a population and look at outcomes over a period of time. This is an actual randomized trial where 7,500 people were randomized to one of three groups, two groups in the Mediterranean population and one group in a control or low-fat diet group. And they were given very specific things specific to Specific guidelines, yes and no, and they were even followed over the period of the five-year study to ensure that they actually had compliance. Tests were done, lab tests, for example, to check that they were actually adhering to this specific diet. And what were the people eating who succeeded in having this real reduction in their... So, uh, the Mediterranean-based diet had specific guidelines. So, for example, there were two groups. One group was allowed four tablespoons of olive oil a day or more. The other group got their fat supplementation from nuts. They had high fiber vegetables, high fiber legumes. They were instructed to eat fish at least two to three days a week and white meat instead of red meats. But what they weren't allowed in particular was what we call the refined carbohydrates. So the breads, the pastas, the baked goods, even low fat dairy products were off the menu in the Mediterranean group. So a lot of stuff was not allowed in addition to the extra virgin olive oil. Exactly. And I think that's one of the big messages of this study. Don't look so much at what was allowed, but what was actually taken away particularly the refined carbohydrates, for example. Because what we tend to do often is look at a diet and say, oh, wow, if I eat uh, four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and a few nuts, I'm good. Right? Yeah. That's not what this is. No, and, then, and as North Americans, we do this. We do this sort of sum of the parts kind of attitude where we cherry pick. And I don't want people to take away from this that they can take their North American diet, pour some olive oil, <laughs> take some wine on top of it, and they'll be fine. It's more important to look at the actual true holistic, true whole picture of the Mediterranean diet. And if you're going to follow this, then follow it to the letter, so to speak, as opposed to cherry picking which parts of it. And what would you tell your patients then? I would tell my patients to stick with, to, to go for, so to speak, you know, the healthier fats, so things like olive oils, uh, omega-3 and 6 fatty acids, fish three times a week, which we've known for a while, um, high fiber vegetables and legumes, and most importantly, I'd tell them to avoid the refined carbohydrates, so to speak. Um, but I think, and what you see here is you see a high-risk population so the fascinating thing about this study, 70% of the patients had high cholesterol, 80% had high blood pressure, and 50% were diabetic. And you saw in addition to the medications they were taking, and these patients were on medications, that you saw a 30% reduction in, in heart attack and a 32% reduction in stroke. For high-risk patients, For that's, high risk, that's, that's huge. extraordinary. Huge. In a, and it was over a five-year period. Right. So you're talking a relative reduction of that kind. This is a pretty impressive data. All right. Dr. Zentner, thanks so much.